We are in VirtualBox version 5, and I'm going to show you how to install the guest edition. So you can see here's our VirtualBox manager. We've got a lot of different virtual machines running. And if we go back to our Windows 10 client, we want to install the latest version of the guest edition tools. So you can do that by going up to the top where it says devices and choose insert guest edition CD image. Now a lot of people think that that's all you have to do. You're, you're done. You don't have to do anything else, but that's not the case. So you can either click on the little pop-up that happens or just go to File Explorer in case you don't get that pop-up. Click on this PC and then there is the CD drive for the guest editions. Now you double click on that and it could be one of several different things that happens. You might get a pop-up that you have to choose yes to and then the installation just goes ahead and starts after a few seconds. But you might also get the option where if you click open, you see a whole bunch of different files. Well, in this case, just choose the third one from the bottom, and that is going to be your installation. Whether you're using 64-bit or 32-bit, which is x86, it doesn't matter. It will choose the correct one for your operating system so you don't have to guess. So once you get past that point where you've double clicked on the third file from the bottom or just automatically starts, you're going to see this wizard come up. We're going to go ahead and choose next and choose all the defaults. If you want to change where the installation goes, you certainly can, but you probably don't have to. And again, leave all the defaults unless you want to change them. And now you're also going to get some screen flicker here when you get to the point where it's going to install the video adapter. If you don't get the screen flicker or the install button, that's okay. But just go ahead and click install and don't worry about it if you do see that flicker happen. And the installation usually takes no more than about a minute, depending on the speed of your computer. And when it's all done, it will prompt you to restart. So there's our screen flicker we just saw. Very good. And within a minute here, we'll get prompted to restart. And there it is. Reboot now. Click Finish. And when it reboots, it will have the installation of the guest editions. So what's the advantage of having guest editions? Well, there's several things. One is that you can move in and out of the mouse a lot easier. When you don't have guest editions turned on, the mouse runs very slowly, and it looks like it's sort of dragging across the screen. So it's a little bit difficult to go back and forth between the host and the virtual machine. The other thing is it allows you to turn on uh, drag and drop and copy and paste. So you can go to shared clipboard and turn on to bi-directional here and drag and drop and go to bi-directional here and also use shared folders if you'd like to do that as well and it will allow you to share a folder between your host computer and your virtual machine. So without the latest and greatest uh, guest editions or with no guest editions installed then you may not see that option. So that's how you upgrade or install the guest editions in VirtualBox.